years that they promise it. We're going to recognize the capital of Israel. We're going to move the embassy to Jerusalem. But they didn't do it. I understand why, because once I got into office, you have no idea the pressure that was put on. The pressure that was put on me by so many other countries calling. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. The last two weeks, I didn't take anybody's phone call. I got calls from kings, you can imagine. I got calls from everybody. Not to do it. Please don't do it. So what I did is I said, you know what I'll do? I won't take their call. I'll call them back in a couple of weeks. I said, do me a favor. Tell the prime minister that I'll call him back in two weeks. I'm busy. He said, two weeks? That's a long time. Tell the king I'll call him back in a few days. So anyway, so I did it. And then I made all those phone calls. Had a lot of publicity. We did it. It was a big story. Nothing happened. Remember, the world was going to come to an end, right? Nothing happened. I kept saying, are we okay? Yeah. Is there a protest? No. Three, four days go by. I said, what's going on? This is strange. But then I started making the calls. I say, King, what do you want? What's up, King? And he goes, I wanted to call you to tell you we would be very much opposed to... I said, oh, I wish I spoke to you sooner. Sorry. Sorry.